שלום, שבת, שלום. Praise you, Father, you are good. Your grace and your mercy endure forever and ever. It's your faithfulness. Oh, Yahuwah, Yahuwah. Father, our sovereign God, Yeshua, let your presence be here. We understand that we are obeying your commands and we are reaching out and honoring the Shabbat because we have a true everlasting Shabbat to hope in and reach toward. We will behold your face, behold your glory, and there will be no need for sunlight for you will be the light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Selah. Sela. <clears throat> Got some matzah. Let's see here. There we go. Now the thing is, the unleavened bread doesn't have any leaven. A little leaven leaven the whole lump, right? So we must understand that. The reason why we deal with the unleavened bread is because there's nothing added. I know this looks like a cracker, but it's not a cracker. It's a piece of bread. And why is it so flat? Because there's no leaven. There's nothing in it. Extra. Nothing of the world, so to speak. It is flat. We must desire to be flat, kind of crushed, nothing of the world in us. That's a process, though. Go through the process, go through the testing, go through the fire, go through the affliction, and pass the test. And then, even then, you will be broken. Praise you, Father. You are good. For this one, Yeshua, whose body was broken. And we do this in remembrance. Do this in remembrance. Why? Because He is, and move my little candle there, He is the bread of life. So, but him being broken. Is how he got crowned, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. So go ahead, let yourself be broken, so you can get crowned. But remember, breaking bread and lighting candles and 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 playing songs and 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 drinking of the wine properly. Um, none of these things. We just broke bread. That will not get me into heaven. That will not bring forth salvation. Only thing that will bring forth salvation is trust and obedience in one Yahshua. And following his example. His example was obedience unto death. Obey. To the end, to the fullest. Obey. And the first step to that is to repent. Shalom. Have a wonderful Shabbat. What does Isaiah 58 tell us? Not thinking your own thoughts. Not doing your own things. Not walking in your own ways. But call the Shabbat a delight. Call the Shabbat a delight. That he will call, he will, hallelujah, he will cause you to ride on the high places of the earth. 